Okay, so um, what we're going to do is now we're going to cut that one out, right? So I'm done with sketching and select them all. Looks good. I'm going to cut, move. And it looks good. Try and put 2.2 inch radius is up here. Yeah. Do it again. All right, that looks really, really good, guys. That thing is going to work. I promise you, uh, if you've done it like that. Now, I just have one thing left to do is the camera cut out. Uh, since I don't have a uh, this bottom, since I don't have a, a picture of that in here, that's okay. I know where it is on the phone. Basically, on the phone, it's in this upper left corner. So it's over here on my phone. So I'm just going to go measure it on my phone. I find that's the best thing to do anyways. So um, so since I know it's in that corner, it's actually, I'm wrong. It's up here on this corner. So it's important to know the orientation, right? So it's actually up here on this upper left corner. So I'll sketch on there. Oops, see how it moved, flipped that around on me? So when I'm here, I can flip it, by the way. There we go. And again, just start with a rectangle. That's the best thing to do. Once you know, generally, what you're trying to do is from the phone that you're modeling, you can just, uh, you know, basically just measure it from, say, this point up here, um, the top of the phone to the top of the slot for the camera, and then to the bottom. If you have those two measurements and maybe from the side, from here to there, then you should have it right. Uh, the, these, these actually, these camera slots can be the hardest ones <laughs> to get right. So take your time on this one, measure it right if you really want it to work or the first time you 3D print it. So uh, again, then on, I can round the edges of these corners after I cut. So maybe I might do that once I've got something eyeballed in that's the right dimensions. So I know mine is going to work at one inch here. I've measured mine and I know 0.5 will work here. And I've got it positioned correctly. Uh, and now I can uh, say OK and then use that extrude. Oops, not that. Extrude, remove. Again, I, uh, I try and try and limit the amount uh, of the cut so it doesn't go all the way through the other side just in case. It might cause trouble on you. And then go in and add your round edges. There you go. Just click all four of them. Now I am actually done, guys. And this thing we can 3D print and snap on our phones. And how we're going to do that uh, is right here, you're going to hit export. You see what it calls it, Part Studio One, iPhone 8 Plus cover version 1.0, STL, uh, binary millimeter, because our 3D printer does print in millimeters. You can, here's like the coarse, medium, fine. You want to choose fine because that helps print the detail. It makes the phone better and higher quality at fine detailing. And then that'll download into your computer. And from your computer, once you share this file with me, I can get it 3D printed. Uh, the only chance to get this done before Christmas, though, as a fun gift for yourself or for whoever else, is to get this done today uh, and get it in the hopper so I can get it started, get it printed. If you don't get this done, today, then you've got a, almost no shot at it. So try and keep pace and get this done.